It's really about the process here. Yeah. The performances, it's not necessarily the goal. There were a few times leading up to this festival where I thought I really need to not come and go home because as it approached, lots of internal challenges and discomforts came up and in some, in some moments those feelings were almost overwhelming enough to say, let me just not go. There's no, there's no leader, uh, there's no hierarchy, uh, there's no budget, there's no fear, there's no limit, there's no, uh, there's nothing but this sort of boundless sense of the possible.
as a creation, not made for like uh, big arena performances, but to actually bring it all together, mm -hmm. to have like the continuous like main stage and like give them all the golden moments we're like creating, uh, but then at the same time letting the audience into like these um, in, into these like very very fragile moments, like raw moments in the small spaces. And the idea is there, and you're here, and um, so now this can just come uh, all to life. And it's yeah, and it's with no expectation. Like people will walk into the doors, and they will not know what they're gonna see. And the doors will close, and the music will start. They will not be oh now this guy is playing, oh this girl is playing. It will just be we we take people along a journey and uh, they will get uh, like everything and so much more what they were expecting. together at the season changes, at the coming of the sun, at the going down of the sun. We came together for marriages, we came together for fertility dances, we came together for all kinds of reasons and if music and dance is only something that happens on the stage, in your headphones, off of the computer. We've lost this making of music in a group of people as we did in tribes. Which is nice. 
as he's playing these really easy triplets and mm -hmm. keep it them as easy and we're going a bit crazy with the pizzas yeah but very much on top of the triplets one more time one two 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 <laughs>
in a decentralized community where we're no longer in local cultures, we're no longer in tribes. People, for me, stands as a tribe. It's a connective tissue between people that are global, that are moving around, that are connected to one another in love, in thought, in grappling with the same questions, with similar questions. What is the new tribe? Saint Agatha was a venerated virgin martyr and she at a very very young age as a teenager decided to not get married which was a radical choice and there was a man who thought he could force her to turn away from her vow of virginity and marry her and she refused him and this infuriated him and so he took her to court she was imprisoned by the authorities and and she never renounced her vow probably around the year 251 St. Agatha died in prison and she's become this patron saint for so many women.
Jessica wrote me an email asking, would you, would you sing for me to dance? I've just come through breast cancer and I want to have a ritual for St. Agatha. I didn't know Jessica as a religious person before, and so the fact that she was now thinking of ritual and prayers and using that language was new. But my question then was, what does that kind of ritual look like for us in this group of people in this moment, specifically for Jessica?
there's probably people that have that have and forget us for a second i i'm certain there are many collaborations that are happening in rooms right now where people are uncomfortable where people are certain that the amount of time that they've allotted with that collaboration are going absolutely nowhere and that they'd much rather be somewhere else and then there's people who are literally at this very moment levitating with joy and and almost disbelief that they're collaborating with these people and more than anything that they're creating that they've set themselves free that this environment has actually allowed for the very thing it was designed to do which was be this vault of creation For me, this is like a new, a totally new experience. And 
in the context and in the content. And this is the this is the main ex the main reason why I'm here. It's not to hang out only, but on the other hand, I like to take things outside the comfort zone. Maybe, maybe all the time, and maybe a bit too much, but. Uh, I would like people also to do that if, if they can. This is the chance to do it. I spoke to someone in passing the other day who said, man, I didn't prepare anything. I came to this festival and I've been sort of just going into a few rooms and I see that some people have come in with just gorgeous arrangements of their pieces and they're just handing them over to these musicians who they never met before and they instantly sound incredible and I feel like an idiot. So maybe I'm a little bit oversensitive to being at the bottom of a ladder. And so I imagined, even looking at a list of names, that I would be on the bottom of a ladder and I thought, do I have this... Do I have the strength of character to be in that space for a week and still be a positive dynamic force for myself and for the people around me? I say to you, I will that you go and I don't know why I do it. You steigst out of the Kleid, lächelst, and drehst, aussichten zu.
Tamasculiedru culu porta la fatia. Nia, nia, nia la mamma fini ne traulia. Lutata masculiedru culu porta la fatia. Lutata masculiedru culu porta la fatia. Nia, nia, nia la mamma fini ne traulia. Lutata masculiedru culu porta la fatia.
I think it's a it's a fundamentally hopeful gesture to create anything and try to put it into the world and just to you know what it, from whatever perspective it's coming from that that it it just engenders that and we need more hope in this world and creativity is really important right now because it's a lack of creativity that is reinforcing all this stuff that isn't going right right now. It's people not being able to imagine something different. People not being able to, it's really easy to point out what's wrong. It is not always easy to really get down to how you can make something better. It's a creative act. And so I think participating in and facilitating any creative act right now is the foundation of how we must actively create this world, create the world that we want to live in.
three. You should kind of be on this side of the room. Is that about right? <laughs> um, once you're in the studio, just the performance space in Studio Two is in the middle of the room. So kindly make your way calmly around um, and enjoy the show. With you guys, I'll let you in.
Ever since I heard the howling wind, I didn't need to go where I was. But then you know you give seen that Just lead me to a collar, Dad. That's the thing. They might not know everything that happened, but they know something real, not a show, not a performance that's um, for pretend. It's like you're really fighting for it. And that's maybe the difference in a ritual and just a regular performance. 
is that there's meaning, there's, there's something that is energetically happening at the moment that the music or the dance is happening. That it's not just I'm presenting to you something, it's actually being made right then. It's not a show. Your life is on the line. The blood is real. Sorry.
I think people in the room wouldn't have had a clue about who St. Agatha was, didn't have a clue of what Jessica had come through, didn't realize who she was to me personally and how she's given me back my own body. Mm -hmm.